Hello everyone. Are you wondering about whether there are houses in Antarctica? Let's find out. Antarctica, often regarded as the coldest, windiest, and driest place on Earth, presents formidable challenges for human habitation. Despite its extreme environment, various types of structures exist across the continent to support scientific research, exploration, and temporary residence. One of the primary types of housing in Antarctica is research stations, which serve as bases for scientific expeditions and studies conducted by researchers from around the world. These research stations range in size and complexity, from small, remote outposts to large, multifunctional complexes equipped with laboratories, living quarters, and support facilities. Research stations are typically built to withstand the harsh Antarctic conditions, with insulated walls, robust foundations, and specialized heating systems to maintain habitable temperatures indoors. Research stations in Antarctica are operated by national Antarctic programs, research institutions, and international organizations, each contributing to scientific research and collaboration in various fields such as climate science, glaciology, biology, and astronomy. These stations provide essential infrastructure and logistical support for scientists and support staff conducting research in Antarctica, including living quarters, laboratories, dining facilities, communication systems, and transportation services. Moreover, research stations in Antarctica are often modular in design, allowing for flexibility and adaptability in response to changing research priorities and operational requirements. Modular buildings can be constructed and assembled quickly using prefabricated components, making them ideal for remote and inhospitable environments like Antarctica. This modular approach also enables researchers to customize and expand research facilities as needed, accommodating new equipment, personnel, and research projects over time. In addition to research stations, other types of structures can be found in Antarctica, including field camps, temporary shelters, and storage facilities. Field camps are typically erected for short-term scientific expeditions or logistical operations, providing basic accommodations and amenities for researchers working in remote locations. These camps may consist of tents, prefabricated shelters, or portable cabins, depending on the duration and scope of the expedition. Furthermore, some research stations in Antarctica are equipped with specialized facilities for accommodating personnel during the winter months when the continent experiences extreme cold, darkness, and isolation. Wintering over facilities, as they are often called, are designed to provide long-term housing and support for small teams of scientists and support staff who remain on the continent year-round to conduct research during the austral winter. Overall, while there are no permanent residential communities or traditional houses in Antarctica, the continent is home to a diverse array of structures designed to support scientific research, exploration, and temporary habitation. From research stations and field camps to wintering over facilities and storage depots, these structures play a vital role in advancing our understanding of Antarctica's environment, climate, and ecosystems, while providing essential support for scientists and explorers living and working in one of the most remote and inhospitable regions on Earth. The goal of this channel is to answer all the questions in the world in video format. After we achieve it, when you search for anything on internet, you will be able to watch a video answering your question instead of reading an article. However, if we want to achieve our goal of answering 1 million questions, we need your help. Please support us on Patreon by using the link in the description. In exchange, we will feature your name in up to 1000 videos every single month. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, follow the channel for more related content, and see you later. Goodbye.